Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Skyrim. I keep almost saying Stardew Valley, and that's not this series. Oh, I think that's the second time that I've almost said it now. So I guess technically, of course, I've been keep saying it. The only two episodes I've done intros for so far. Oh. But yeah, that's the thing. This is not Sky uh, Stardew Valley. Although, can you imagine if Stardew Valley looked like this? Graphics wise, and just happen to be the same premise. So amazing. So, yeah. We're on our way to Bleak Falls, Bleak Falls Barrow. It should be right up there at the top of the hill. Uh, we're gonna go retrieve a thing called the. I wanna say it's called the Dragonstone, but I feel like that's not actually what it's called. Uh, it is a magic tablet that, or not magic, but it is a tablet used to decipher the words of the dragon, if I remember correctly. Basically, Ferengar, the court wizard over in Whiterun, uh, he's going to want it, and he's going to send us on a fetch quest to go get it. But we could also simply go on the fetch quest first and skip being sent to do it. Assuming we can not contract rock joint and get killed on the way. So yeah, here we go. Uh, I will reference last episode and me saying uh, that I'm going to be a, like a assassin slash archer. When given the option between sneak past it and kill it, I will choose to kill it pretty much every time. Um, really hoping I was going to nail that shot and be really impressive, but it didn't help. Bandit two. Bandit three. Oh, I totally just switched and got rid of that shot. This is kind of sad at this point. We are... okay. Really? Really? Really lame. They got arrows. Apparently, I need to equip my arrows. So while I'm doing that, um, pop the mace, drop one sword, equip the arrows. Uh, drop that and that because I didn't actually want them. How far down the yeah, she's gonna go all the way to the bottom of the hill. That's unfortunate. You know what, honestly, I am uh go ahead and discover this. Go down there, get the arrows off of her corpse, and then warp back up. I think it's just not a discoverable location. Dang it, it's not a discoverable location. I'll get them on the way home. Or the way down rather, not the way home. That's Imperial Sword. Sacks of flour, no cabbages. Another barrel down there. It's in that one. And tomatoes. 
Every once in a while you can get some uh, some potion materials and that's always nice to grab. Now if you can get some frost salts, or not frost salts, but uh, uh, well, I don't know. Flowers or something. Apparently I'm going to go do this now. I didn't actually mean to just jump all the way down here, but I did it anyway. So, there's that. Uh, can I just run my way back up the hill? No. At least the, uh, the access point should be just like around this rock, I hope, I think. I'm making that up completely. Actually, one of the uh, black footed cats from Africa. Ooh, that's cool. I've never actually been to the top of this rock to see that waterfall. Out of all the things that I've never done in this game. Here's the path. I have a black footed cat from Africa because they like to climb in the mountains. With the, you know, the rocky crevices and whatnot. I think it's a black-footed cat. One of the cats. One of the small African cats. Back up here to where we started. A mere, uh, you know, two minutes after accidentally, some, like, accidentally somewhat intentionally jumping off the edge. Uh, actually, I want to go ahead and take this time to favorite. That and also to favor this, this, and this. So I can do this. Switch over to my bow quickly. There we go. Here's the false barrel. That's really what I should have done. A person. That is not a person. Where's the person? I know that's the person. I know you see me. Just run around and pick up all the arrows he shot at me. Uh, one of our first sort of targets is going to be the Thieves Guild because I can simply sit there AFK for 20 minutes while they shoot at the target and collect a ton of arrows. Which, no, I don't consider to be cheating because the arrows have zero weight and essentially no sell value. Not that I really ever sell my arrows anyway. Um. So 
so it's essentially no different than if you could simply have a sword that never dulls. Like, wait a second, the swords that never dull in this game. Call that day. I don't really care about the plus one damage. I'll use the longbow until I get to a uh, the stronger bow, the ancient Nord bow. Right, let's go. Twenty minutes left in this episode. We just might be able to actually get through the whole thing. But first, my favorite shot. You get to kill it. Pretty sure I just shot her in the eye. Yeah, pretty much. Just under the eye. Feels I feel like, you know, not that there's any place that wouldn't be painful to get shot in the face, or really shot anywhere with an arrow. But getting shot in the eye really probably has to suck more than some of the other spots you could get shot. Like, all things considered. Oh, that's soundless. Uh, I'm in Warhammer of Embers. That's cool. If anybody is arachnophobic, uh, I'm not going to splash a warning on screen, but be aware that there will be a giant spider. Um, so, you know. When I, when I say giant, I mean bigger than the other ones that we saw earlier in the last episode. Thankfully, I don't mind spiders when they're not, uh, you know, when they're not in real life. So. Real life, I hate spiders. In games, I will just kill them and move on with my life. Ooh, you're a stronger boss. Not a boss, but a you know, stronger enemy. Can't hit me worth crap, though. Oh yeah, that one hit me. Combat archer! That'll happen quite a bit, that I just won't run away, I'll just stand there and let him hit me. Most of the time, I can actually get energy, or, uh, get higher health than they can do damage, and therefore I'm fine. Let's see, so of course, that one fell down from there, which means the pattern is snake, snake, whale. I do always wonder if the uh, NPC there is programmed to actually like solve this over time or if he just paces back and forth and eventually kills you. I'm sure he eventually just kills you. Yeah. Um they get attacks here. Saw you. Not bad. Three skiers, four arrows. I can deal with that. I think that was four arrows. Probably was more than four arrows. Somebody who was paying attention is going to correct me, I'm sure. Read thief. Okay. Uh, nothing in the burial urn. In the chest we have some things we'll take. Grab the soul gem and let's go down here. Yeah, yeah, fall damage, whatever. Pull a fireball, take it, sell it. And on we go. Is someone coming? Is that you, Hot Oh, better time. Ready? Giant spider. And 
course, because we can. Don't let it get me. Help. Oh boy. Hello. Don't let it get me. Help. Keep it away from me. Get it away from me. Get it away. Hey. Keep it away from me. Faster than I remember you. I wonder if I can actually have Arvo killed. Now that I think about it. Uh, yeah. Does he attack the spider? No, he just runs further in. Oh, you suck. Help! The spider's not gonna go anywhere now. Really kind of unfair when you think about it. Let me get two of my arrows back. Lovely. Some stuff in it. I right, said so those are empty. Regular urn though. Regular urn has some stuff in it. Not really worried about Arvel since he'll be dead by the time we get down here. Not in such draw here. Ooh, I apparently just can't shoot. Really annoying. I would have liked to have killed you before you got over here. two things and I'll take the circlet just because I can sell it for a non-zero amount of money right now. You I have to kill. Oh, but you I have to kill. The only one right? Yeah. I never remember exactly how many there are, and I am always feeling like I'm gonna miscount and have an extra dragger in the face, but I'm not expecting it. Grab the claw, grab the journal. I don't need to read the journal because I've done this quest a billion times. Walk past the pressure plate that causes the thing to swing and hit you in the face. Shoot the next dragger. Oh, he's a dragger. There we go. He's a restless dragger. I have no more. Uh, buttons. Help! Give me more health. Ooh, I have a little place apparently. Give me 20 health. food that I have. There, now he's dead. The two arrows, the four gold, and the iron ingot. Yep, I was expecting that. Uh, 
now I need to go over here and quickly eat a couple of those because I was very close to dead there. I would also equip the uh, amulet of arcade to get an extra 10 HP because why not? Actually, does that do more damage than my longbow? It does, okay. Items, weapons, Un oh. unfavorite that, favorite that, favorite that. And give me the bow. Didn't want that. Uh, throw that back inside the dryer. Arrow. That. And yeah. I really wish we could like just pull the arrows out of the bodies, but apparently you can't. You just have to get a chance to loop them. Kind of obnoxious in my eyes. points into stamina for that one and we are going to come over here to archery those are going to do 20% damage yes uh, I want 40% I could do 40% I could also do better sneak or better lock picking but I'm going to do more archery need 40% in archery skills and and give me 20% extra one-handed damage. Uh, petty Soul Gem, yes. Arrow, yes. Pull the lever crunk. Because there's a something down here and I want it. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> that something down here is the rest of the map. So yeah, onward we go. chest we have some stuff that's kind of useful in a sort of sense Margaret is dead making it safe to go down and around on this path now do, 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 do.
down here. Skeleton has a gold piece on him. Skeleton has gold meal and more gold. And we get a chest that we can unlock. That has a randomly generated loot table. Highly worth it, that 14 gold. And we can continue. I'd remember there was a dragger here, I would have crouched so I could get a sneak shot in. But I had forgotten. And now I just have to do this. Alright. Chest. Gotta be careful with these chests, but that still likes to hide them in weird places. All the petty soldier and with a petty soul in it. Always nice to get a petty soul. Let's see, what do we got next? This seems like the kind of place where there's gonna be a whole lot of Draugr. Hey look, a whole lot of Draugr. Sneak attack. Grab the cold resist. I know there's another one in there, but it hasn't come out yet. Do do. the hallway, grab those and that. I shoot an arrow at that one. It's not even close. I love that those don't swing at all. Here we go. Right, so one last thing to show you and then I'll end this episode and we'll go through this door in the next episode. Or just about anyway. Go down to enter my miscellaneous and I scroll through all the random crap I've already picked up. Golden Claw. Uh, which if I remember how to look at it. Oh, that's not it. There we go. To scroll onto it while you're hovering over it. But if I look, I see bear, butterfly, owl. And if I look over here, it's uh, options. So bear, butterfly, owl. Those are the three options. If I hit them all a second time. Bear. Butterfly. Oh. So I'll activate this uh, in the next episode, but until then, thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me in this episode, and if you're enjoying it, swing by next time for episode number three. But until then, adios.